Hello, everyone. My guest today is Franz Riedel. He's a co-founder of Stylo, an agile content management system. The tool automates design and unifies content and e-commerce to create seamless inspiration and shopping experiences. Today, the company works with more than 100 brands and retailers such as Foot Locker, Auto Group, Thomas Sabo, or OBI. All right, Franz, you ready to take us to the top? Absolutely. Let's go. All right. Tell us about the company uh, and what your revenue model is. Are you pure play SaaS? Yes, pure play SaaS. Well, we have a very, very small uh, portion of, of uh, professional services, but it's 97% uh, SaaS technology, SaaS revenue. Yeah. Okay. And tell me what people are paying you for. People are paying to, to use our, well, what has now become a, a content management system, really. We started out as a software, you could say a uh, a, a tool to 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 write content, blog, storytelling, this 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 sort of thing. And the idea behind it was always to to um, have the design automated in a way. Just because we saw and um, back when we when we first started, that was years ago. We saw different device sizes coming out, um, people needing more content on different devices. They needed more regular, more frequent updates than 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 back in the old days. And we, we thought to ourselves, it's not possible to do this, to arrange all this by hand, use Photoshop, cut, cut every graphic to the right to the right size. When you want to use it elsewhere, another, another de- device, another channel, you have to touch it over and over again. That doesn't seem efficient. So we wanted to, wanted to use the, the machine to actually do the layout based on calculate, calculation, based on intelligence. Interesting. Okay, so when people are paying you, give me, give me a kind of average. What are they paying you per month? Um, average, uh, let's say 3000. So it ranges from, from around a thousand to now with our latest product lo- uh, uh, line that we launched up to 25,000 a month, a month. So that's a pretty huge range. Um, yeah, but on average 3000. <laughs> okay. Very good. And put this on a timeline for me. When'd you launch? Ah, we launched, well, we founded the company, uh, well, back in 2012 as a B2C model. So it was originally designed to, or the idea was to create a community where everybody could blog in sort of a visual way, even if you might not have Photoshop skills or might not uh, might, might not be a designer or lay- somebody skilled at layout. Um, so that was the original idea. And then uh, at some point, more and more companies approached us. We got in touch with them somehow. And they all told us they wanted to do content marketing. They needed to publish more content. So we started out with the SaaS model mid-2014. But these are mostly kind of e-commerce brands, right? Creating content for their shops and their websites that are shoppable. In the beginning, that, that was in, indeed the case. But we, we at, at some point, we saw this storytelling blogging thing is, is nice, but it's probably not mission critical enough. And we, we saw so much more potential for this, for, for this automation of design. Because why restrict it to a, like one small portion of your website? And um, so the, the latest updates we've launched are to create landing pages. Some, some, some clients use us to, to build their home pages or to inject existing content into these relatively static uh, product grid views, you know. And so everybody wants to enhance the experience, but the, the tools out there, often the shop systems are a bit, well, let's say rigid in a way. So they don't let you, especially if you don't have IT skills, um, change stuff fast and, and quick test things, uh, throw it out, put something else in. Got it. Okay, good. So like drag and drop kind of wissy wig so that the marketing and sales teams can do this themselves without having to, you know, integrate their dev teams. Yes. Okay. However, in one, in one aspect, not wissy wig, because um, the same thing, well, w- what you see is not necessarily what you get because- Well, Fran, sorry, it's, this is like simple though. I mean, who are you selling to? Marketers or developers? Oh, definitely marketers. Yeah. Definitely marketers, e-commerce, uh, e-commerce. Yeah, yeah, very good. Okay, and how many customers yeah. have you scaled to over the past six years? Um, more than 100, <clears throat> more than 100. Okay, and, and you know, was you, were you always priced at three grand a month on average or no? Oh, no, no, no. We have some old legacy plans. I think first client paid uh, probably 800 and they have a two-day cancellation or like notice period. Um, and that was the first, we had to get a foot in the door, right? People needed to believe that the machine could take over parts of their website and do the layout um, for it. So uh, no, we, we started much, much lower than that. Okay. So, I mean, if I take a hundred customers times three grand a month, that would put you at about 300 grand per month right now in revenue. Is that accurate? Yeah, that's pretty, pretty accurate. Yeah. Okay. And then take me back a year. What were you doing a year ago? 
uh, around two million. So we we grew over the last month from around two million to three point five roughly now, and um, had a bit of a slow start into the into the last year, but. Uh, we're pretty happy with, with where we are now. Yeah. So just to be clear, if you're doing about 300 grand a month today, uh, and you were doing about a 2 million run rate a year ago, that would have been about 160 grand a month. So you've almost doubled year over year or sorry. Yeah. 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 You've almost doubled yeah, like 70, 76% or something. Yeah. Okay. Very good. And walk me through, you know, you got your first customer. You told me what that contract looked like, but how'd you get your first 10 customers? What growth channel did you use? Oh, actually, back then we had a very small team. It was back basically, so we're based based out of Berlin, Germany. And um, my co-founder and I were basically, uh, well, reaching out to people, going through our investors' network, uh, well, traveling the country up on the cheapest train tickets we could find, um, <laughs> hoping to 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 uh, get in the get foot in the door somewhere. Um, and we did that until we had around probably 15, 20 customers. And at that point, we saw, well. To be honest, because we came from that B2C background, we had to make a couple of adjustments for business use. For example, people did want to want to be able to schedule posts for a Sunday. Private people didn't need that. Businesses did. So um, the first first five to ten customers were pretty slow because we had to make some adjustments in the product. Um, that was around until mid 2015. So, friends, sorry. From how are how are you getting customers? How are you getting customers today? What growth channel are you using? So uh, di- different uh, different channels, uh, a lot of a lot of trade shows, um, still some some cold reach out, cold email. Um, LinkedIn works really well. Um, some performance marketing, um, mostly probably word of mouth. Okay, That's, that, that okay. still works 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 very well. Word of mouth is hard to kind of quantify for my audience in terms of a strategy that's working. Uh, talk to me more about the trade shows, right? So what what would you pay to go to an average trade show, and how many leads would you expect to get from there? It's probably 15,000 uh, 15, to 20,000 a month, uh, 20,000 per, per trade show. And uh, well, we usually get at least one deal out of a trade show. Um, so let's say anything, like if it's five really decent leads, it's good enough for us. Um, sometimes it's, it's, uh, it's 10, sometimes 20. Um, sometimes it's also people we've spoken to before but for them, it's really helpful, especially from an old sort of industry and um, meeting to meet somebody in person. That's really important for their purchasing decision. So we, we see this as a, an important step, even though we might have talked to them before. Um, so it's a bit hard to quantify but It's at least one new cold lead per trade job. So are you then, can we back into your CAC this way? Are you happy to spend about 15 grand to get a new $3,000 a month customer? Uh and the uh, customer acquisition cost, well, it, it, it's a bit higher because we have some 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 other channels. It's around twenty five thousand. Okay, so you spend about twenty five thousand bucks to get a three thousand dollar a month customer. Correct. Okay, so payback is what less than a year. Yeah, definitely. And, and are you at this price point? Um, expansion revenue starts to become a real thing if you have things to upsell. Do you have meaningful expansion revenue and upsell revenue? Yes, we do. However, we should 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 have much more. So our average. Uh, um, but we had net negative churn last year for the first time. For first half year, uh, we didn't have so much to upsell, but with the new product line, uh, things have, yeah, have taken off a bit. How net negative? Um, let's say over the last 12 months, well, let's say about, about zero. Um, last, uh, last six months, it was probably 2.5 uh, net negative per month. Okay, that's, I mean, that's good. Uh, net negative per month. Um, well, there, there's still, still room for improvement, but yeah, it, it's a start. Yeah. So just to be clear, I mean, when you annualize that, if you take you know two point five times twelve, you're talking about almost negative thirty percent net negative churn annually. That would be would be amazing, but let, let's see if we can if we can scale it scale it this way. But uh, I think we're on a really good track. track well, no, no, it's, it's not about like is that a good number or amazing or not. It's what what are your numbers right now? So if it's negative two point five percent net negative per month right now, is there any reason that wouldn't continue for the next twelve months? I don't see any. I don't see any. Yeah. So so with someone that signs up with you for three grand a month and in, in in year one, what do they typically expand to then in year two? Oh, that's really something I. Cannot tell you right now because we have so little, so little data points on 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 these on these type of clients. The new clients start with a more complete package, let's say, at a much 
a price point, obviously. So it's really, really hard to quantify. We have some, some clients that have tripled in, in revenue and um, some that have stayed relatively the same over, over two or three years. Really hard. I, like, I, I would have to take a guess. I see yeah. a lot of potential there, but it's, yeah, it would be random, random guessing more or less. And what's, the, what's your churn today, gross churn, before you add back expansion? Gross churn on average was around 1.3 last year. Okay. For the whole year or for monthly? Yeah, monthly, monthly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. So that would be about 15% uh, uh, annual churn. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's great. And talk to me about the team today. How many people? Uh, 45 right now. Where's everyone based? Everyone in Berlin? Um, most of us in Berlin, a couple of, couple of guys in London. And well, sort of a sales trial outpost in New York. Okay, very interesting. Um, the 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 New York based office is it mostly sales or engineering or what? Well, it's actually one 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 sales guy. So oh, okay. And sort of put, putting put, putting yeah, getting a feeling for the market. Let's and, say that. And friends, like have you have you bootstrapped? And, have you bootstrapped or raised? We have uh, raised from the from the very beginning. Okay, yeah. how much have you raised to date? Uh, around. Four and a half million dollars. Okay. Any plans to raise, you know, in the next couple of months? Yes, definitely. And um, we're actually in conversations with a couple of people now. Yeah. And and why raise now? Why is it the right time? Um, I think the great traction. Um, so far we're really well known, and I think well we've been pretty successful in the, in the German speaking uh, market. Um, couple of clients in the UK, but still there's so much so much potential and. Um, well, first of all, rest of Europe, but obviously the U.S. still is, is probably the largest and most interesting market. And uh, yeah, it, it takes money to, to, to enter other markets and uh, yeah, especially the U.S. So, Do, do you have yeah, leverage going into these conversations? Are you, are you profitable today? We're not profitable today, no. Okay. No, but I mean, given, given the numbers from last month, I'm pretty confident we're, we're going to be able to raise around. Okay. So, I mean, so when you look at how much you're burning today, are we talking like a hundred grand or like 500 grand or 10 grand? <laughs> Unfortunately, not 500. No, it's, it's between 100 and 150 a month. Okay. And the reason I ask is I always like to get like a ratio of, of kind of how much runway you're giving yourself, right? So we, at, w at what moment, how many months of runway do you have in the bank where you say, okay, I better start fundraising now? Um, when we started to fundraise, we had uh, probably, oh, well, even a bit more than, a bit more than 10. And uh, so now we still have uh, about half a year. Okay. Very good. Very good. And we closed the round earlier, right? But you don't want to wait until the last minute. That's yeah. probably. How, how, much, not how much are you looking to raise? What, what's your target? Somewhere between five and ten million. Yeah, and are you going to do that in 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 the UK, or you think you'll come to the states? Um, we're talking both to US investors, but primarily European ones. Our experience is that uh, most US investors, well, we're probably at the lower end of the the revenue they're looking for, but not having like a proper office with with several people on the ground and not having um at this point any US clients it makes them feel a bit uh, uncomfortable. Often we're told, come back when you have, when you have 10 clients in, in the US. Um, so uh, yeah, fo focus right now is Europe. Of course, we're open to conversations in the US as well. Yeah, very good. All right, let's, uh, let's wrap up here, friends, with the famous five. Number one, what's your favorite business book? Um, that's an interesting, that's an interesting question. Uh, the, the Art of War by Sun Tzu. Number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying? Um, not one specific one. No, I wouldn't. No. Number uh, three, what's your favorite online tool for building the company? Slack. And uh, number four, how many hours of sleep do you get every uh, every night? Huh. I have a uh, almost newborn son, so somewhere between three and five with interruptions. <laughs> um, and then what's your situation? Just one son married, single, you have ki uh, more kids or no? One, one son married. And okay. The, the first is already quite a challenge. Married, kiddos, and how old are you? I'm 36. 36. Last question, friends. What do you wish your 20-year-old self knew? Um, I would probably 
try to, uh, it sounds like a penalty would fail faster. Um, I think we, we held on to a couple of things for too long, even though we knew already in our hearts that they weren't, weren't the right things to follow anymore to focus on. Guys, cut bait faster. Launched Styla back in 2012. Now has about uh, 100 customers paying three grand a month, doing 300,000 bucks per month in revenue, up from about 170 grand per month just a year ago. They raised about 4.5 million bucks, burning call it uh, you know, about 150 grand per month. Team of 45 people in Berlin, 15% annual churn. Now today though, monthly net negative 2.5% uh, churn as they drive expansion, paying about $25,000 to a Acquire a new three thousand dollar a month customer, so less than a twelve month payback period. A lot of their growth coming from trade shows. Again, as they look to make uh, help marketers really create a better experience on the websites, you know, started really in e commerce. Now expanding to additional niches. Friends, thanks for taking us to the top. Thank you.